Back in January of 2017, my mother and I accompanied my father on his first visit back to Laos since he and his family left the country as war refugees back in 1975. One of my dad's goals during our visit was to find and reconnect with his older cousin who he hasn't seen since they were kids. The journey would not be an easy one. First and foremost, we couldn't get through using the phone number that my father had for his cousin. Nearing the end of our trip, our only option was to drive approximately six hours from where we were at to the village where his cousin supposedly resided in. Actuellement, je cherche mon cousin là, tu sais, qu'on ne s'est jamais rencontré depuis qu'on est né. Et euh, on arrive dans son village. Et tout ce que je sais, c'est que, soi disant que lui, c'est un tailleur. Et en principe, il est assez connu. Donc maintenant, si j'arrive à trouver son marché, pas son marché, il y en a un marché au puce, c'est le tailleur. Alors ouais. ça marche au plus. Et le monsieur là qui vient de parler, il a dit qu'il était juste ici, c'est ça Il a dit qu'il y a deux marchés. Il y en a un marché qui est grand, un autre marché qui est marché petit. Donc il a dit que le marché petit, c'est quelque part par là. Ok, on y va On y va. Okay. Apparemment, il est dans ce village. J'ai son numéro de téléphone, mais tu vois, on n'arrive pas à le téléphoner non plus. C'est pour dire qu'on a traversé des milliers de kilomètres. ไอ้ตัวมาเชคกันซ้ายอันนี้สเปรย์ we searched the market for a little while with no luck until my dad decided to give his cousin's phone number one last try. Hello? Ah, uh, คุณยังรู้จักเขาหนองเขียวเอ๋อไอ้เตี้ยมัวเอาลูกตลาดมัวตลาดน้อยจะตลาดอ๋อใหญ่น้อยจะคุณยังรู้ตลาดน้อยน
That evening, we sat around a fire as dinner was being prepared. Stories were told and memories unfolded. It was a reminder of how truly essential community is and how important friends and family are. I was happy to reconnect with my family, my past, but I also had a sense of guilt. How are we so lucky to have been able to escape war and make a better life for ourselves? Why weren't they? Who made that call? Back home in the States, the elders tell stories of the long and hard journey they had and constantly remind us of how lucky we are to be where we're at today. Sitting here in Laos on this cold winter night, things were a little different. No such stories were being told. The following morning, we arrived back to my uncle's house, just in time to hear lunch being prepared. Just before our departure back to the capital, our family, along with neighboring friends and relatives, sent us off with a blessing, a common tradition in the Hmong culture, which involves tying blessed strings around one's wrist for good fortune and protection. I sit here today and reflect on this trip I took with my parents back in 2017. 
and I consider myself lucky to have had this experience. Until this trip, they were just all stories. I now feel that I have a more profound understanding of my roots and where I come from. I'm encouraged to keep moving forward and to never give up on myself or family.